Well, here at home, this is the big weekend for Newfoundland and Labrador's music community. Music Newfoundland and Labrador's annual conference is being held right here in St. John's. And the province's greatest rock and roll band is front and center at Sunday's awards gala. The Ducats are being honored with Music NL's Lifetime Achievement Award. Now, they've been together for almost 50 years, thrilling audiences with their unique brand of rock and roll. Today, I dropped in on Ducats guitarist Lou Skinner. Lou, how does it feel uh, to get a Lifetime Achievement Award? What does that say? Uh, it says uh, good recognition for the band. And after 50 years, this particular band deserves that recognition, and it really feels good coming from the people of Newfoundland and Labrador. Tell me, how, tell me how it all started out for you guys. Uh, it all started out in around 1960. We put the band together and uh, as a fundraiser for uh, a charity event. And then uh, we, some members left. We added some members. You were the first Newfoundland band to, to leave Newfoundland and, and play the eastern United States uh, in a very exciting era. What was that like? You know, you just said it. It was an exciting era. And... Uh, we were right, hidden ears into the rock and roll and instruments, and we had an opportunity to uh, listen to all the American radio stations going up in Port of Vest, and as fast as they were coming out with the rock and roll, we were learning it. And we got to a point where we thought, well, let's throw down the jobs and let's go on the road and be stars or whatever, right? We didn't give a damn because we wanted to make the money and buy new gear. We never had no gear, so this was one way of doing it, you know? Lou, all these years later, you're still playing. Why do you think it is that, that the Ducats have endured? I think the bottom line with the Ducats is the material we play. Uh, the Ducats is just a name, but it represents the tunes we play. They're good old rock and roll, fast, slow tunes that our age generation can relate to. And when they hear these tunes, it just takes them right back to when they were younger, and that's what it's doing to us. And we're still playing some of the same tunes we, uh, we did back in the 60s, and it's still working. You're still thinking ahead to your next gig. Uh, tell, me, tell me what's on the horizon for you. We're planning next year being our 50th year. We're planning on doing like a bit of a mini tour across Newfoundland. See a lot of the people we haven't seen for a while, and they don't get there to Ducats. Uh, we got some of our old records that were being uh, put down into CD format that we're up to make available to the people. And I got a call the uh, other day from uh, Elvis's original drummer, DJ Fontana. Uh, they're doing a, a thing in Collingwood for the Elvis Festival. Scotty can't make it, so they want me to go out and play guitar with them. Hopefully come down to New Brunswick, uh, Nova Scotia, and maybe even do a few spots here in Newfoundland. And I think the people will enjoy that. I know I will enjoy playing with them. Last time I played with DJ was uh, during the uh, Eddie Eastman sessions in Nashville. A lot of good stuff coming up. Well, Lou, thanks for talking to us. You're and, uh, very welcome. Keep rocking. Yes, thank you so much. Thanks for coming here.